Hello, it is now time to create a dictionary of dictionary objects. I'm Mike Levin from MikeLevinSEO.com and when last we left off we were working on the Gopi file and I already have it loaded so I'm going to abort and I'm going to exit because that's what you need to do when you use the sh command to drop out of vi or v or vim in the first place so here we are back where uh, we left off and i need to test whether i have the ability to shove just any old object into um, this uh, d rows index of the shelf object. So I suppose I can just uh, take advantage of the fact that once you have curly brackets or parentheses or any of those containing uh, bracket symbols, you don't need to remain on one line. You can go like this. And so long as what you're doing is uh, valid. So this is a dictionary of one dictionary object. Let's see if that runs. Yes, it runs, and it gives you the text representation of the value, which in this case, the value is an entire dictionary. So let's make two rows in our table. Exit. So now we should be able to just put a comma at the end of this guy. And you know what? I could just do a copy of that row to get rid of the trailing comma and oh let's see that's still just one row because I did the same key twice silly me that second one has to be bar or else it's replacing it Okay, I, I'm just trying to learn a new key. C for change. Ah, I set up. Okay. Change word. Hey, I'm redeemed. That's more like it. I get two rows back. Um, there are the identical values in the rows, but values can be identical, keys cannot. So here you have it, the representation of multiple rows where you're matching up the values to the column names. It's another way of looking at a spreadsheet in text file form, one that's probably far superior to CSV you don't need any special CSV libraries to import and parse. You just bring it directly in as a easily iterable, parsable, whateverable native data object. It would be just as at home in JavaScript as it is in Python. But we happen to be in Python, so I'm going to take advantage of the easy to readness of the code that is what you're looking at. Imagine this if blocks were not controlled by indents, if blocks were controlled by curly brackets. You take the curly bracket notation of object definitions, JSON, and, uh, Python dictionaries, and you dilute the specialness of the curly brackets by throwing curly brackets everywhere. Now suddenly you can't tell your normal program code from your JSON objects in JavaScript. But here, they stand out like a blinking beacon. Every time you see a dictionary object, it's 
the dictionary object. Uh, every, every time you see curly brackets, you can be, you can be pretty sure you're dealing with key value pairs. Um, so there you have it. Uh, this is one tiny baby step closer to the larger project, but again, a journey of a thousand miles starts with the first step, and this is, I think, what, the second. Thanks for joining me. Share the video. Subscribe.